all, welcome to another vlog. This is going to be a week in my life at home. I got back from Nashville last night. I was actually supposed to get back yesterday at like 10 a.m. and have a full day of work, and I had so many things I needed to do. I got to the airport at like 6 a.m. and the American Airlines like system was down, so the line to check bags was two hours. So literally everyone that was checking a bag in America and missed their flight, and then I got on the 7.30 p.m. last night, it was fine, I was staying with a friend um, from college, so I just like hung out there all day. But what a travel day. Anyways, no one cares. I don't know why I'm telling you guys my travel drama. This is like the worst thing to do. But anyways, um, if y'all are new here, subscribe. I just made my coffee. I was so excited for my cookie butter creamer to realize I was out, which like, I don't remember being out. Oh, my brother's been staying here, that's why. It's fine, I have the pumpkin one, it's still really good. Anyways, we're gonna do a good old unfashioned, old unfashioned, old fashioned unboxing. Um, I got home to a lot of boxes and we're gonna see what's in here. A lot of boxes are coming in that are um, like holiday kits and stuff, I'm sure. Soon, which is crazy, it's October 17th as I'm filming this, I'm actually buying my Christmas tree either this week or next week. We'll see, oh perfect, living proof dry shampoo. This is one of the best dry shampoos, if not the best. I love this stuff. Next, this is from Jenny Kane. I have no idea what this is, but I am so excited. I'm working with Jenny Kane again. We're still on the podcast, um, we're doing more stuff, and like, I'm just, oh my God, Jenny Kane is like a dream brand. It's very Nancy Myers. it's just perfect. Their stuff's amazing, so the packing slip. Okay, so this is clean skincare. Moisture rich balm. Amazing, I haven't even unpacked. I normally unpack immediately once I get home. I'm so excited to try this. I've been hearing like amazing things about this, so I'm excited. Oh wait, there's another thing. A lip balm, amazing. Cute, I'll be trying these and let you guys know. Okay, I ordered from On You. This was actually supposed to be here for PBR last week and it didn't make it in time. And I don't know if I'm dying to have this. I need a new robe for a friend of mine. That's like my dream. I have like a vision of a robe I want to come out with and I just want to do it so bad. It's just going to take some time and I need to find the right manufacturer and stuff. Anyways, this color scheme isn't really my vibe, but it's so comfortable to wear for dreams. I mean, I'm sure I'd wear this stuff somewhere. This top I definitely want to keep. I love tops that cut off like that. It's kind of like my Abercrombie top that I love so much that I always wear. Okay, actually the quality of this is so unreal that I will be keeping it. Wow, I mean this stuff wasn't like cheap. It wasn't crazy expensive or anything, but it wasn't like like Princess Polly pricing, you know what I mean? And then there's this laser that comes with a bell. It's giving Danielle. When I see a belted blazer, I think Danny. And then this is that. I'll need to try it on today because I just need to try it on and see if it fits because it does look kind of short. Um, guys, okay. This is the craziest thing ever. I can't believe I haven't talked to you guys about this. So, um, as you guys know, I'm Dolly Parton's biggest fan. I actually just opened in my kitchen a gift from my realtor that's like all Dolly Parton themed. And as you guys, maybe you don't know. If you guys don't know, earlier this year, I got invited last minute to a press conference because the ACMs were in Dallas. So she had like a pop-up thing, she had a press conference there and I got to go and it was like 40, it was really, really small. It was probably more than 40 people at the end of it, but like, there was like 30 chairs and I had a chair. It was so cool. Her team reached out to me recently and I like literally died. It was when I was horse riding with my manager. Um, and then they wanted to send something. And look, I cannot believe this. This is her new coffee table book, Dolly Parton, Life in Rhinestones. Oh, The book is on sale as of October 17th, so it's out now. Wow. It's all of her like costume archives. Wow, it's like really, really cool. Amazing, I just love her so much. So, that was crazy though, I was like so happy. I, I do, I have already had contact with them and done stuff a little bit with them because of the um, first event I did earlier this year, but another person reached out. Like that is crazy. I don't even, like I'm assuming they know that I'm obsessed with her, but they could just be like reaching out to a bunch of influencers. Who knows, whatever, either way, I'm so happy. Oh. This is some new body wash, body milk, and by Dulce. Perfume oil, and then a perfume. What's us smell. Oh, that smells really good. Wow, okay, I'll be trying these out as well. Oh my gosh, 
much, guys. I have been using the other perfume they sent me, actually, and like every guy ever has been complimenting me on it, which is weird because I feel like guys are like, you know, whatever. And this is just a little bit different, so I'm not really sure what the difference is. Maybe this is like a nighttime one, I'm guessing. I don't know, but I love their perfumes. <gasps> oh my god, yes! Guys, look what came in the mail. I got my not my first rodeo hat from first class cowboys. I've been wanting this since I saw, saw Kate like tease it on her stories. It's perfect. It's my favorite color. I'm obsessed. I love her. First class cowboys are so cute. Perfect. This should be Jackie's book. It is. I got it for my niece and nephew. Look, guys. Oh my gosh. Congrats, Jackie. That is. So exciting. I can't wait to read it for myself. Makes me, like, I want a kid book once I have kids, you know? Aww. Counselor Snitch. That is so cute. Wow. Congrats, Jackie. Love. Last but not least, I have two boxes from Yankee Candle. I think this is supposed to be, like, their fall collection, which is amazing because, you know, I love fall candles. Spiced pumpkin. Like, I like the actual, like, candle jar. It smells really good. This is so exciting. I love Yankee Candle. We always had them growing up, so it's like so nostalgic. When they DM me, I was like, please. Pumpkin banana scone. Really good. I love like sweet fall candles too. This is the evening river walk. It smells really good. This is the spicy sp sangria. Oh wow, I really love this one. I wouldn't have expected that. I really like it. Autumn daydream. Wow. Something about that feels like my childhood. I don't know why. Oh god. Oh, this one's cute. Pumpkin maple cream caramel. Car caramel. 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 No one says caramel. Why did I say it like that? This one's my favorite. It's so good. Very sweet. And I like a sweet fall scent as we've established. Anyways, that's my unboxing. I need to throw away all these boxes. Um, sorry if this isn't your thing. But thank you to all the brands that sent stuff. Some of it I did purchase myself. But um, I'm excited to try all this out. <laughs> I'm out of the shower. I'm just having the best fall morning. Like, my house smells so good, I'm cozy. But I will say in the fall, when I get ready to work from the day, like I'm wearing lounge stuff or whatever, and then I'm in a robe. And like, that's okay. I think that this is what we're gonna keep up. Also, I was literally online searching for a robe that looked just like this. And then I was thinking like, I swear to God, I have one found in my closet. Because the closet that I, when I moved into this house a couple months ago, all my like fall and winter stuff is like hidden, so I went through it and I was like, thank God I didn't order this exact robe because it's also a little out on its skims. Um, love the robe. I'm gonna sit down, get some work done. Got a lot of friend of mine stuff. Um, Coco has therapy at 2:30, physical therapy. And guys, when I was in Nashville, something horrible happened. I was on Broadway. I wasn't even drunk. Like I was literally just like on Broadway, like walking with a friend, and I looked down. And look at what happened to my bag. Like this was just already like it. So I'm gonna try to take this to like a bag repair, repair place and see, but like this is a Chanel. So that's not good. Like if that is, and this is my favorite bag ever. I wanna keep it forever. I have faith that they're gonna be able to fix this. Like it doesn't seem like that extreme, but like that's not good. Has anyone else bag done this? Like I just feel like that's not normal. So we're gonna be getting this fixed also y'all i feel like i've just i keep saying this and i'm sorry it's annoying but i just feel like i've been in such a like funk with content ever since the summer and i feel like i'm kind of coming back into the youtube thing but it's like do you guys even watch youtube anymore like i don't know it's like should i just be making tiktok vlogs every day but like youtube is where i started so like i never want to like stop the thing of like what started everything like my podcast is definitely much bigger these days but like I love YouTube. I don't want to stop. I do love TikTok vlogs a lot. Like I really, really do. So it's, it's just hard to do both because you're it's just stupid and whatever. Um, and also I'm just like posting the same thing. But what are y'all's thoughts? Like, do you watch? Obviously, if you're watching this, you're watching YouTube. But like, what? What's the status with your thoughts on YouTube these days? You know, guys. I just have to say this dress is kind of everything. Like, it's gonna be cute to like dress up and wear heels with. It's cute to wear like tall. Cowboy boots with. 
Um, I haven't even done my actual like normal skincare or anything because it's still in my suitcase. So I feel very not myself. Oh my god, it's really cute. I almost wish the dress was shorter. Wait. This is weird. I'm confused. The blazer needs to be bigger. And I don't know exactly how this works, but like... I don't know. This isn't right, but like... I really like the dress. The blazer just... I feel like maybe I got the wrong size. Just like if you have it cinched. Maybe not. No, maybe it's fine. I need to look at it online and see. I forget how it was tied up. Alright y'all, I made it to Highland Park Village. I'm gonna go to Dino's to try to get this repaired. Send me positive wishes. I've had one other bag um, repaired before and it was like the actual leather part of it. So, hopefully they can do something. I'll keep you guys posted. update they can fix it they said it's actually pretty common and for some reason it's gonna take two to three weeks so I'm hoping it doesn't take that long because that's my favorite person I wear every day but like um, there are bigger problems in the world whatever I'm glad it can get fixed um, I'm gonna go back and pick up cocoa I got a little ice matcha from Sidel's my voice is still shot I didn't even like sing on Broadway this weekend like I don't know a good old night to myself I bought to make chicken and dumplings I made them last year in the townhouse and they were so good it was my first time ever making them and I just have been craving like comfort food just like I don't know I just that's what I wanted today so I'm making it anyways I'm measuring right now because I'm buying a new Christmas tree probably this week so I'm trying to see because it's gonna go right here clearly um, I'm trying to, you know, get the vibes to where we're at. I'm like terrified. I know this is like not how I'm supposed to do it, but like, whatever. Okay, it's about 92 inches high or tall. I'm like not making sense right now, guys. Okay, 92 inches tall. So I need to pick a tree based on that. I think I'm gonna do it at home. I know we're shocked. Um, Coco's crate is not gonna be here. It, normally it's not even here. I don't know why I got moved to while it's gone, but. Um, I'm actually gonna move it because it's kind of bothering me. Okay, so the tree is gonna go here. Big, tall tree. I'm gonna do ornaments and a lot of tinsel. I'm obsessed with the tinsel tree look right now. Um, but I don't want to notch my ornaments because I like, I'm like an ornament lover. Like, I'm one of those people who like would love an ornament as a gift at this point. So, I definitely want my ornaments still. And I actually do think I'm only gonna do one tree this year. Thought about doing, I might do a really tall, thin one in the office, but there's really not room for it. So, I don't know, and I thought about doing a tall one. You know what, I probably will do a tall, skinny one over there just because it's Christmas, and I would like to have like a tree in the episode, so I'll figure that out as well. Sierra is going to design a little refresh of the living room because it's never been designed and it's really not cute. So, um, I'm hopefully gonna be getting a new chair, a new rug, new whatever, stuff for the shelves, all that stuff. Am I yelling? Guys, like, why am I being so weird? So, um, that's gonna make quite the difference. Also, I literally never put away this Merry Christmas needlepoint pillow from Furbish. I love a needlepoint pillow. I started needlepoint myself, as you guys know. Um, but I just think it's so cute and I, like, literally never put it away, so. That was good. Um, yeah, I don't know, we're just gonna figure, figure some things out. Fitz has been really just loving the past hour. You never know what you're gonna get with him. Sometimes he's too cool for me. 
Sometimes he's obsessed with me. Hi. You are so cute. We went on a nice long walk this morning and he didn't care about me at all. So, love that. Right, Fitz? Right, Fitz? You are so good. You are so good. He had a hot ball, by the way, if anyone's wondering what's right there. But he's okay. Because do you remember when he was like smaller than Coco? It's so wild. I don't even think y'all can like understand how massive he is. Like, if I'm ever on a walk and I run into one of y'all, you're like, oh my god, like he's just so, so big. This smells so good. Oh my god. You guys need the recipe. It's on my Instagram highlight. It's on the shop front of mine because I've been using, obviously, my recipe journal. Actually, here's the recipe. So just screenshot this. And then, of course, I would highly recommend getting your recipe journal. We don't have a ton, ton left. Like, it's definitely going to be sold out probably soon definitely before the holidays so i would get yours now i'm watching new heights i am obsessed with the kelsey brothers specifically i mean i love them both i love the taylor Swift all obviously but jason kelsey's documentary was so good and they're just like my ultimate comfort watch i love watching things that really have like nothing to do with me like i love consuming content that has nothing to do with me that's just so different than the stuff that I make, like I, weirdly, I even like uh, more like masculine podcasts. And I think it's just because it's what I do for work. So like with females, like just typically the podcasts that I would listen to are more in like my kind of category, if that makes sense. Um, and it's kind of nice sometimes to just have something that is, I don't mean like mind numbing in the sense of like, it's dumb. I mean like, it just has nothing to do with my life. Something about listening to things like that I just love like even podcast guests that are just like so far out of just like my everyday what I would normally be thinking about worrying about whatever my favorite follows are people who like live in Alaska you know like I like that sort of vibe also if you are like feeling weird I think it helps a lot with comparison um it just helps a ton honestly I would really recommend doing that but I've got to get the soup served it looks so good and I'm gonna finish this episode probably I got math tape, so we'll be trying that tonight. And I need to read. Comment below y'all's best book rack. I'm in a book rut. I finally updated KE Book Club the Instagram today for the first time since Austin. I almost said Austin, since August. And that was just out of hand. Like, I don't know why I haven't been updating it. I just have been, that's what I mean. I've just been off, you know? Um, anyways, I'm gonna make some lunch. And by lunch, I mean dinner. Like, I have to stop filming. Like, what is going on? Oh my god, this looks so good. <sighs> Amazing. This is like the best fall winter comfort meal. All right, y'all, I am putting on mouth tape for the first time. I really should have ice rolled today, like just travel and everything in general. I feel like I'm, when you travel, I feel like I drink more and whatever. My face, it's really puffy. Um, but at least we're doing this tonight to just get our lives together. I've heard mouth tape is incredible and it helps so many different things. Let me Google the benefits. It helps sleep, snoring if you snore, um, healthy oral microbiome, reduces stress and heart rate, reduces stress and heart rate, increases heart rate. This is all really blurry. So and you get better sleep, then every other area of your life is better. Oh, I just charged my aura ring. I've been forgetting to wear my aura ring. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have my mouth tape. I'm not putting it on just yet because I'm drinking water with my electrolytes. 
and I'm reading. Right now, I am reading um, Nicole Walters' book. I love Nicole Walters. She's come on the podcast twice now. If y'all need, like, good, inspirational, like, episodes, especially if you're in your 20s or feel lost or just feel like you need motivation or feel like you just need someone who's just comforting and, like, believes in you, you need to listen to my episodes with Nicole. There's two out now. But... I'm reading her book, Nothing is Missing. I've been so excited for it to come out, and it's finally out. So I'm at 27%. I'm honestly shocked I didn't finish it while I was gone the first day, but I just have not been in the reading mood. And I've been like, my screen time is out of control right now, whereas like normally it's not that bad because I'm reading. So anyways, getting that together, um, I'm gonna go to bed and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Guys, I'm in such a good mood because it's really just cozy season. I am leaving for a workout in like 10 minutes. I'm just making my coffee. Um, okay, so I slept with a mouth tape last night and I felt like I got a better, like deeper sleep. Because it's my dogs, like it doesn't matter. They both have their own separate food and drink bowls. They just always want to drink out of the same one. making some coffee obviously okay so personally i felt like it did help me sleep better and i did it i know it sounds so stupid but i liked how i was like breathing more felt like i had a deeper sleep but i my aura ring sleep score was only a 74 which isn't like groundbreaking i'm sure you have to like continue to do it whatever um so i'm gonna keep doing it i did like it and I will say, I found that I was so much more calm, like, quicker. Like, I was, like, ready to sleep faster, um, which I really liked. So, I'm going to keep it up. I, it was so easy. Something that I didn't expect about my pool journey is that I love cleaning my pool. Like, Something about it is just so therapeutic. I don't know. And then I was hanging out to my mom. My mom was like, I always, when we had a pool um, for a little when I was younger, or when did we have? Honestly, my parents were divorced because my parents were divorced and we moved 17 times. Like I lived in 17 houses growing up as a kid, which that's largely due to the divorce. And then once I got divorced, I went to rental, so then they like weren't buying yet and whatever, and then so it just like makes you move every year because of that. And then my parents got remarried, so then you move again. Most of the houses were within the same town. Well, not all of them, but like a ton of them were. Anyways, um, yeah, like there's something about taking care of a pool that's just very, very therapeutic. So if I moved 17 times as a kid, that means that I've lived in like 22 places by the time I was 25 because I moved as an adult like five or six times. So that's wild. How many times have y'all moved? Like 17 as a kid is a lot, you know? That's like a crazy amount. Like people who have had the same house their whole lives are like so jealous. Um, not my journey, you know? But anyways. I'm gonna go get ready. And we have weightlifting this morning. I'm going to a little bowl and branch brunch. Coco has therapy, I've got work to do, and then I'm supposed to get drinks with my friend tonight. Um, hopefully he lets me do that at like 5 p.m. because I'm just not a late night girl. Guys, I just got ready so fast, and I am like obsessed with my outfit. I will show you in better lighting, but I'm switching my bags over. This Marty bag that I got, is so cute i love it but there's no security in it like it's all just open keep that in mind it's more of a summer bag anyways um the oh last time i brought these back for friends and i forgot to give them to them because they like collect these last time i used this bag i was in amsterdam so um oh, that's a long strap this is such a good bag and i just don't use it enough um and i'm gonna try to start using more the good thing is that i have my other bags that I can try. Also these Jenny Bird sunglasses. I left one of my Jenny Bird hoops. I lost it in Tennessee somewhere. So I'm gonna need to order a new pair because I just wear them all the time. Jenny Bird has like the best earrings, the best like accessories in general, um, and the best pricing. Like they're cheaper than Jennifer Fisher and you guys know, I wore strictly Jennifer Fisher hoops 
for probably like three or four years straight. Still love them. Um, but I'm just a Ginny Bird girl now. What can I say? So anyways, this is my bag. I'm obsessed. And I really want to make sure I'm using it more this like, fall and winter. I'm tired and I'm off to the Bull and Branch brunch in preview. I'm actually really excited. I was nervous that I wasn't going to want to go. And just because like, sometimes you have to talk to a lot of people. And I actually love talking to a lot of people. Like I literally do that for a living. But um, sometimes you're just like not in the mood. And today I'm in the mood. But I'm dozing off a little bit. So we've got to go before, before anything crazy happens. Look at how insane I look with this. <laughs> I'm back home. I just washed my face, so my eyes are a little bit irritated. I was not having a good makeup day at all. Um, so I went to the brunch. It was great. The new Bull and Branch store. It's on Knox, and it was fabulous. Loved that. Um, I had a really good morning, and then I took a good some appointments, and I've just been getting some stuff done. But I realized I thought I was gonna go to the festival, the music festival in Fort Worth this weekend on Friday and I decided I'm driving it tomorrow because I met some people and they invited me to something during the day on Friday and I have the house anyways. So I actually have quite a bit to do and I need to pack some outfits and I honestly, I just, I don't fully feel like it. I know like most of what I have in my closet just in general would be like work for this festival. Um, I'm only going three nights. It is a four night festival. It's Zach Bryan, who, there's a lot of people that are going. Um, and I'm excited the dogs are coming with. It's their first time going to Fort Worth. I'm so thrilled. I'm over the moon for him. Um, but yeah, I need to do some laundry and stuff. And maybe I just need to sit down and make a packing list. I think that's like what I need to do. Because realistically, I can leave at whatever point tomorrow night. I just would like to have some stuff done. This is so stupid, but I wish I had like a clothing rack to put everything up on. Um, but yeah, I gotta just decide. I feel like I'm gonna go like jeans, top, boots, pretty much every day and like sweater and stuff at night. I just need to sit down and think. Also, I need to heat up some chicken and dumplings, chicken and dumplings, because they were so good. Also, my pool, guys, I'm embarrassed about this. I just can't like, I don't know why it's green. Okay, it's a lot greener on camera. I'm embarrassed that I showed you guys this now. Um, my vacuum cleaned it this morning and I need to go through the filter. You know what? A lot of that's like the reflection. Whenever you clean it, I have to wait till tomorrow after Pilates when I'm disgusting because when I go through and I do the filter and I do all the backwash and stuff, you get really dirty. So I wait until I'm like working out and then whatever. But also, um, I just changed into this. I'm going over to my friend's house tonight for dinner. He's just like, they're cooking dinner and I'm coming over. So I changed into sweats. These sweats are from Airy. They're what I got on the fall mall day with Jessica and I will link them. They're the softest pants I've ever worn in my life. This top is skims and then my new balances. Sorry if it's in the way. I kind of want to go pick out my new Christmas tree but I think I'm actually going to wait until next week just because there's a lot going on. So he just like really loves the attention right now. That's really something else. the barking I'm really sorry this is gonna be a quick clip I just changed well I got comfy here's my outfit to go to a friend's for dinner I ordered us crumble cookies this is what I'm contributing and I'm heading off we're gonna have some wine catch up I'm glad that I'm doing this I have a lot going on but I'm just trying to make it more of a point to like see my friends throughout the week and go do things and like when I get invited somewhere I need to go but this is my Texas hat they're available. It's my merch. Find me in Texas. We also have shirts. It's amazing. Love it. Link below. But yeah, anyways, I still can't get over how comfortable these sweatpants are. I put a sweater on, so it looks like I tried a little bit more. Come on, what? Oh, big stretch. Big stretch. Big stretch. Come here. Come here. Aww.
ready for my morning walk. And I just, I kind of love when I do a workout later and I can wake up and read, or maybe I see waking up early again or earlier again. Um, but I'm wearing this Outdoor Voices set. I have this in a couple different colors. I'll link it if they're available because they have been some of my favorite workout sets I've ever had and the most flattering. Guys, Fitz is such a camera whore in this vlog. Like, are you okay, bub? Oh my gosh. And just so you know, he's not doing this until the camera's on, you know? He maybe knows that we're about to go on a walk, but my dogs don't really even know what the word walk means. I never really like to say it's not when we're going, but. Um, I do have a leash for my dog owners that you need to get. It's a hands-free leash from Fable. And I think if you use my, if you use the URL, fablepets.com slash I love you, you get 20% off. But it's amazing for your morning walk, especially when you have coffee or water. Oh my God, he's like, let's go. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Um, it's an amazing leash. I really, really recommend it. It's in my walks with Fitz. That was more enjoyable. By the way, I feel like Coco's like, if she's never in the vlog, it's just because like she still can't walk. So it's just, I feel like it's like depressing to watch on the internet. It's not depressing like for her, like she's bopping around, she's on her wheel, she's like having fun. Um, but I just like, don't film it. And then like she is normally like sitting with me where I'm at with places. So she still is here and doing things. I just am not like filming. I'm giving her privacy, if you will. Coco wants privacy. You know what I mean? Um, but anyways, listening to a podcast, going on a walk, we're out. I have no breakfast food at home right now. I feel like my parents, like, you know when you grow up and your parents are like, there's food at home, and then you go home and it's like only food that you have to like really cook and takes like an hour? Um, that's me currently, especially with breakfast food, especially because I don't have a microwave at this house and I'm like staying strong and not getting one because I really don't need one that much, but I need to just, I don't know, you know when you guys get in a breakfast funk, that's something we should talk about more, where you just like, sometimes every couple months my mind just goes blank on what I would like to eat for breakfast and then all of a sudden I just, I, I don't know, I'm just like not a, I am a breakfast girl, but it's like I can't even think about what to eat, you know what I mean? It's like when like eggs are good every couple of months and they're bad again, you know? And every breakfast I have to actually cook and it's like, that's a lot of stuff. Well, I'm not feeling it, you know what I mean? I also got a pumpkin cream cold boy, so that's good. Anyways, I'm going to Pilates. Um, it's a themed class of like early boy band. It's gonna be fun. And then today is a lot of errands, a lot of getting work stuff done. I need to clean my pool. We're getting everything together. Um, I need a podcast plan too. What podcast episodes do y'all want? Do you want solos? And if you want solos, what do you want them on? Do y'all want episodes with other people? Do you want episodes with my friends, like at home? Like I need some direction. Um, and I'm really gonna do what you guys wanna do. I am gonna have Claire Coos Smith on. I'm gonna have Kate Davis on. We just have to, it's just like scheduling at this point. I'm gonna have, I'm trying to think of other people in Dallas, you guys will know. Um, my friend Janelle back on, Janelle Roberts on TikTok. She's the best TikTok ever and she's so cool. She has an incredible episode on the show. She also has her own podcast to all the people and it's really, really good. She's making her own media company. We'll, we'll talk about her later. Hi, how are you? Great, thank you. Yes, please, just one. Thank you. Oh God. Okay, thank you, have a good day. I did not realize that I just got a venti, so. Oh no. All right, y'all, it is time for me to pack. I've gotten most of my work done. I have a spray tan at six. I don't know what has gotten into me, but, oh my gosh, like, I'm so confused by this pool. It's just, like, all of a sudden, it's so hard to keep clean because of the rain, but I've been doing everything. Anyways, um, I've kind of started to put outfits together. The last thing I really feel like doing is packing um, because I also have to bring all my podcast equipment and I also have to bring all the stuff for the dogs and I also have to bring my outfits and whatever. I think I'm just gonna overpack a ton um, because it obviously doesn't really matter and then just like put outfits together um, while I'm there. But you know, when you're just like so tired out of nowhere and like, look, I look tired, like my face, like I don't even look like myself right now at all. Um, again, guys, he has not been all over me until the second this camera come, like came on, okay? He's been leaving me be, haven't you? 
But yeah, the dogs are going to Fort Worth with me this weekend, so that'll be fun. And I really would prefer to go tonight, just get it out of the way, get everything there, and not to worry about anything tomorrow. So I just need to get my fits in order. Hello? Just need to get my fits in order. Okay, I way overpacked, but we did it. I have this stuff, and then I have the dog stuff, and then whatever. I'm just gonna start taking trips out, get a shower for my spray tan appointment in like an hour. For some reason, packing for a country festival, like it's just what I wear every single day. Like I wear boots almost every day, I wear belts every day. Like I wear dresses, like it's not really different than what I normally wear, but because of that, it almost made it harder because I was like, I feel like I need to pull the best and really like it's casual, so. I need to just stop overthinking it. Um, but I don't know what has happened to me this afternoon, guys. Like something, something is off with my body. Like my God. All right, guys, it is so dark right now. Um, I'm driving to the Airbnb in Fort Worth and then I'm going to go to bed, honestly. Oh, I had this revelation today, okay? Because I was just like, I don't know, I've just been sharing recently how I'm like feeling kind of lost or I don't know. I mean, I'm sure eventually I'll talk more about this. Not even lost, but just feeling like I think it's easy in your 20s to feel like things are not working out for you. Even when on the outside looking in, it seems as though it is. And it's very easy for like one area of your life, things to be, you know, not going the way that you want them to and then all of a sudden you're like oh my god nothing will good will ever happen blah, blah, whatever and i was just thinking you know i'm in i have higher spirits now and how and this is like so cheesy but it was genuinely a revelation guys it was like i was spoken to by god himself okay and i was like i'm just so tired of things like not working out for me and then i thought about the fact that um things not working out for me is actually in fact things working out for me because of the things if those things worked out in quotes that would not be working out for me you know what i'm saying like, that was a horrible that would be horrible you know what i mean like i wouldn't a long term actually want that it's just like you know divine intervention if you will um but yeah sometimes things not working out for you are in fact them working out for you so i just wanted to leave you with my uh piece of wisdom that is so obvious that i received for myself today. Um, anyways, I'm picking the dogs with us this weekend. I'm very excited, it's the first time in Fort Worth. Fitz is really over the moon and Coconut is currently taking a nap, but I know they're just excited. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love y'all so much and I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll be vlogging the whole weekend. I'm very excited. Okay, bye. And then I was just thinking, I'm really welcoming the element of surprise in my life. Yes, I feel like flop eras are actually so needed because so it really needed. makes you like realize what you want to change, what what you want. And so that's why on Tuesday, like this next Tuesday in two days, we're going to have a total like strategic meeting where mm -hmm. we go through like all of our goals, everything. And I feel like that's going to be the start of the uphill. I totally agree. Yeah. But I've just been thinking like the best things in life are the things like I, a month ago, if you would have told me this was happening, I would have never believed you. And not even because it's like the craziest, but it's just so like not what I expected or like yeah. didn't see this coming. So I'm welcoming the element of surprise. Okay.